Welcome back to our track, Animal Domain. If you are new to this channel, I'll be glad if you take a moment and subscribe to my channel below. This video will tell you about the world's first new species of the prehistoric crocodile discovered with a dinosaur in its stomach. So let's jump into the video now. About 95 million years ago, this ancient crocodile probably ate the little ornithopod just before it perished at the hands of a larger animal. When they stumbled upon a 95 million year old crocodile skeleton in Queensland, Australia, paleontologists received more than they bargained for. The crocodile was not just a new species, but it also had remains of a dinosaur in its intestines. It's really extraordinary, exclaimed Matt White, an Australian Age of Dinosaurs Museum associate who spearheaded the finding investigation. This is the first time a crocodile has been discovered with dinosaur remains in its gut. It's a first in the world. In 2010, White and a team of paleontologists and volunteers discovered the crocodile fossil. They found it in the Winton Formation, a geological rock formation that previously revealed dinosaur bones. They were initially searching for sauropod bones when they made this fantastic discovery. The team had no idea they would locate crocodile remains until a front loader began removing extra dirt. White noted that the front loader damaged the crocodile fossil, adding that the best discoveries are made when something is broken. Two remarkable discoveries were revealed by scientists as they investigated the fossil. One was that the eight-foot crocodile was a brand new species. In addition, its stomach contained the remains of a little dinosaur. Confractosuchus soratonos, which means broken dinosaur killer, is the name given to it by researchers. So intimately connected were the bones that researchers had to employ x-rays, CT scans, and 3D computer modeling to understand them better. White noted that such technology might determine the stomach contents of other fossils. The technology we're utilizing pulls fresh life into what we can see within these fossils, White said. As a result, it will alter how things are carried out. He and his team concluded that the dinosaur the crocodile devoured was an ornithopod, a diminutive plant-eating dinosaur that lived 100 million years ago. Ornithopods were adorable little dinosaurs that weighed around 1.2 kilos, making them slightly larger than chickens. Confractosuchus would not have been a specialist dinosaur eater. Still, it would not have passed up an easy meal like the immature ornithopod remains discovered in its stomach, according to White. The discovery provides a fascinating glimpse into the thriving ecosystem that existed in Australia tens of millions of years ago. Finding evidence of dinosaur predation is uncommon. And finding the stomach contents of prehistoric crocodiles is even more bizarre. It would have resembled Ducky from the land before time in appearance. Therefore, you may picture sad little Ducky climbing up the bank's edge before a crocodile approaches and devours it. The crocodile then began to chew. One of the ornithopod's femurs was sheared in two, according to researchers, by the crocodile. The scar of a tooth mark was seen on its other femur. According to White, who also noted that dinosaurs played a significant role in the food chain, this ancient crocodile and its last meal will continue to shed light on the relationships and habits of animals that lived in Australia millions of years ago. This is because there aren't any other comparable specimens in the world. Dinosaurs were not at the top of the food chain, but were part of a complex network that included mammals, pterosaurs, birds, and crocodiles, White explained. They've shown first-hand evidence of crocodiles, food supply, and that they could consume anything close enough. The tastiest component of a crocodile is its tail, according to White. But there is still a fascinating enigma. Although the majority of the crocodile fossils were successfully removed from the rock by White and his crew, the tail is strangely absent. The crocodile's cause of death is unknown to him and his colleagues. It is possible, though, that after the crocodile devoured the ornithopod, another animal further up in the Cretaceous food chain bit it. The discovery was a trifecta of firsts. It was important in another manner, in addition to being the first prehistoric crocodile discovered in Australia and the first time a croc was demonstrated to have swallowed a dinosaur. According to USA Today, it was the first time a dinosaur was found in Australia. According to researcher Matt White, the fossil remains shed new light on how animals lived in Australia millions of years ago when crocodiles, dinosaurs, mammals, and birds coexisted. Shortly after eating his dinosaur lunch, the crocodile passed away. The exact mechanism is unknown, according to White, but since crocodiles aren't at the top of the food chain, another predator with a higher status may have killed it. According to a February 2022 news release, the discovery is on exhibit at the Australian Age of Dinosaurs Museum, which has the world's most extensive collection of Australian dinosaurs. 
Based on remains recovered in the fossilized stomach contents, advanced nuclear and synchrotron imaging has proven that a 93 million year old crocodile discovered in central Queensland ate a young dinosaur. The Australian Age of Dinosaurs Museum, QLD, discovered the fossils in 2010 in association with the University of New England, and their findings were published in the journal Gondwana Research. Investigators believe the crocodile was caught in a megaflood incident, was buried, and died suddenly. The petrified remains were discovered in a massive boulder, concretions forms when organic matter settles to the bottom of a river, such as a crocodile. Because the environment is rich in minerals, the mud around the organism can freeze and harden within days due to the presence of bacteria, Dr. Bivit noted. For all curious minds, the fossils are still displayed at Winton's Australian Age of Dinosaurs Museum. For more videos like this, subscribe to the channel Animal Domain.